Right, mower time. Mowing time. So we have our demo mower here. Ta da! So Chandler's have lent us this. Phil Ball at Chandler's uh, dropped this over. You've probably seen the video the other day. Um, here it is. So it's a two metre massy uh, disc mower. I had a problem the other day with, you might have seen at the end, I had a problem with the transport hitch, uh, putting it into transport mode. I realised I had the uh, rope over the wrong way. It was under, I think it was underneath. I flipped it over, that's all good now. So, so anyway, boss man Harry's here. Boss man Harry, are you coming to watch this? Yeah. You'll be watching this. Give me your opinion. What's your opinion so far? Looks good. Thoughts on us owning something like this? I think it'll be really good. What about the other option, the drum mower I said about? Well, I've no, I haven't seen what a bigger option or a drum mower would well, be. Bigger like. of what we got already. Yeah, but I don't know how it would mm. perform compared to this. I think the main thing with us is cost as well, isn't it? Is whether mm -hmm. we can justify the extra expense on this as opposed to conventional drum mower, which um, is quite a lot cheaper, isn't it? Yeah. You know, because we're not doing a lot of mowing, that's the thing. It is a, it is a dilemma, we, I've just been discussing this with my brother. We're trying this one. We know drum mowers. I know it, not everyone likes them, a lot of you might be looking at this going, no, don't get that one. But we know drum mowers, but also there is a quite a bit of a price difference. And as, as some people have discussed with me, or discussed amongst themselves on my YouTube about whether we really can justify all this extra kit for the amount of mowing we're doing. So um, it is a compromise. I think we're gonna, we are gonna buy a mower this year. I'm pretty sure we are. I'm not sure it's gonna be a, a disc mower. It might be a drum mower. We'll, we'll have a go with this today um, and see how we go. I, I don't know. Right, okay. As, as I can give his opinion in the field, all right? Let's get you along there. I'm going along now, all right? Got it out in the field. You saw me drop it down there. Thank you, Harry. Harry is here surveying. Are you TikToking as well, Harry? Yeah. So we got this field here. It, it's gone a little bit past its best, but it's absolutely fine. I can see the amount of docks I've got in it. it. Probably needs spraying, really. It's not our field, so we so we rent this field. So it's kind of like a dilemma of how much you spend on someone else's field. Um, but we've had it quite a while, and I think we're going to end up having to put a bit of spray out. Um, Got the new mower. I, so this is literally the first time I've, I've used a mower like this. I, I'm not 100% confident I'm going to get it all right. Um, I just look at the top link. Might have to adjust that a bit. Don't know. Um, I might just see how it mows, and then we'll have a go. Right, Harry can film me setting off. Just lengthening the top link. It's not very easy actually. I'm giving this poxy little bar look for you to get on. I'll put my gloves on a minute. Poxy little bar to, to grip on, on. Some of the others have a sort of double bar things. 
epoxy thing. You haven't, you haven't got a lot of leverage on that. Just trying to make it more equal because it's. I don't know whether I can get it. Down. Is I, I think it's. I don't want to go any further. I'll try that. Oh, might yeah, I've got the mower set. We'll try that. We'll see how we go. Are you going to stand out of the way up there? Yeah. All right. Let me just get going then. All right. Nice bit of grass. As you can see, it starts pretty bad in the gateway because that's where you always drive in. But up here, it's quite a thick crop and he's got to do the headlands after. I reckon we'll get quite um, quite a lot of bears out here. It's quite loud obviously, but yeah. There's a little bit left on the ground, but we don't want to take too much off. Don't want to make it go completely brown. It's quite seedy, this grass. Quite weedy as well. So we've got, we've got quite a lot of, it's very tall, it's up almost to my chin, this, some of it is, which is very good, means there's loads of grass, and it is quite a thick crop, as you can see, but it is also a little bit weedy, some cow parsley and a lot of stinging nettles in the hedge. Just see if we can zoom up and just about see the top of the cab. It's very long at the top, but then it's partly very long because it's very weedy at the top. Um, it's quite, it's quite stalky and it's quite, you know, it's 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 a lot of grass here, which is good, but um, yeah. This is obviously where there's not going to be much grass at all here because this is where you always drive in and see it's a bit more down and not so heavy at the bottom here as it is up the top over here and up there but then that's like how it is in all of the fields so there's no surprise if it's heavy at one point and not so heavy at the other point but he's just coming down the field now I don't know if you can just about make out his cab it's just up there under the trees very loud because you can hear it all the way from the other side of the field quite hard to stay focused when you've got it on such a far zoom. It hasn't taken him too long to do this. I mean, he's almost finished. He's, de he's over halfway on his first head headland. That's only taken a couple of minutes, maybe two minutes or less, very quick, doesn't take too long, bit dusty behind him, sorry about the poor quality of video, Just come back around now, so we better stand out the way and get back. We don't get 
ramen pulled underneath the tractor. How do you think it's done then? I think it's done pretty good. Well, not bad. I, it's hard to judge it. I, I was a bit worried it was getting bunged up because it's sort of like, I'm not used to this amount of grass behind it and I thought, how is it going to cope with it and everything? It's doing all right. I mean, we we got a hell of a crop of grass out here, as they say. It's not very thick down here, but that's the gateway. This didn't here, have much muck. It's very thick over there. It is. Should we have a look at it? Yeah. Harry, could you say? No, I'm not saying. We, go on, say it. No. Say it. Say it, we've got a hell of a crop of grass. You can. Go on, Harry. No. Harry, Harry, go on. Go on, what we got? What we got, Harry? Hell of a crop. Oh, no effort in that, look. Yeah. So we have, look at, look at the thickness of that. So it probably would have been better to mow earlier, but the reality was, um, actually Andy Sampson did come back to me and say we could have mowed it last week, but um, I just had too much on to deal with, so I, I left it a week. Uh, wouldn't want to leave it any longer. Look at that. Is that a bunch of flowers? I don't think you'll get very far with a girl if you present her with a bunch of grass. Bunch of grass. Bunch of flowers. Put that in a vase. Go on, give that to your girlfriend. I don't have one. You need to get one, Harry. No. Do you think Harry needs a girlfriend? No. No, not at your age, really. Too much trouble, Harry. Right. Focus on pigs. Focus on pigs. Yes, very, very apt. we got a plan for next year, Harry, haven't we? You're going to make your million next year, aren't you? Yes. What are you going to do? sell pig meat pork next year isn't it Sausages. Sauc Harry's sausages and jacks yeah so ne next this year we're going to do pigs I think we're keeping them for ourselves next year if it works well Harry might have some sausages to sell funky farmer sausages you can come and get them but that's for next year we're, we're seeing how we go this year let's have a quick look we stop I'm not going to stop for long so I've got a lot to do but look how, look how the dust settles on there look at that that's a disease wow Look at that. Well, it's pollen, I think, mostly. It's not seeds. Look at it, though. One round, and that's all on there. Look at that. I've only been round once. What's it going to be like at the end, then, do you reckon? It's because of how yeah. so much seed is on those Well, it's pollen. Plants. You yeah. know, you know, you get how it, you know Jack gets hay fever? Yeah. That's all that stuff. Take some foam and give it to him. Don't give it. You're mean. Right. There's gonna... bugs in here. Yeah, we got to crack on. Spider. Spider. No, there's spider. Lots of little bugs, and it just shows what's There's in grassland. Look, look at that! All I in the grass, the little beetles. Look. If you look over here, they're crawling everywhere. Yeah. There's loads of ants. Amazing, actually, isn't it? Giant caterpillar. Well, it's not giant. Oh, there is a little still. caterpillar. Look at that! The livestock that is in grass, and there's little spiders. More caterpillars over there as well. Oh, where? There's another caterpillar there. Wow. That that's amazing. I don't. Hey, I've seen, I've mown fields years, for years and years, but I've never quite seen it. It must be the picture of the mower or something. It doesn't sit on the mower like that with the uh, other track, other mower. Maybe it's because of how much like it's like this. Yeah, yeah, it is because it's longer. Yeah, and probably when it right. hits it, it'll pulls back on it, mm. and then it will explode pollen on the mower. Right, I'm going to crack on now. We'll have a look. My brother's coming along to have a go with this mower, so we'll be turning the camera off then. Uh, but we're going to go on round. Harry's sniffing grass over there. Are you doing grass inspection? Yeah. Come on, farm manager. It's good. Good on you. Right, let's have a look. So, I got a little bit of a problem with my tractor in the fact that the speedo seems to have stopped. I don't know why. I'm not very happy about that. I'll show you. Right, so I've got this basically running the PC up to 540. So we've got 540 on here. Let's get it up, up to speed. Right, now the thing is, when I drive forward, helps you put it in gear. When I drive forward, that speedo is not working. Right. I'm going to drop down the 
reviews. <laughs> Something's happened to my speedo, it's not working, which at least the PTO side of it's working, but the speedo bit, it tells me how fast I'm going, isn't it? I don't know what's going on with that. That's a bit annoying. Look, you can see it on there. Look, I'll do zero miles an hour. I'm not sure what I'm going to do about that, because that's something I, you know, you need to know how fast you're going, really. It just stopped working. I mean, it could be a loose wire or it could be something digital in the control box, which is like, oh, ridiculously expensive to fix. There's bound to be a sensor somewhere that stopped working, isn't there? Anyone out there know anything about that? Let me know. Right, we're going to crack on with this mowing. We'll have a look. Harry's my cameraman. He's outside. He's probably, he's probably doing his TikTok videos at the moment. Look up Harry the Legend 10 if you uh, want to see Harry's TikTok. There's a good one on there of my fertiliser cock up the other week. Um, have a look on there. In the meantime, we'll get back to uh, get back where we've done a bit more. different experience it's a slightly different experience in the fact that when I uh, lift up the mower I use the hydraulic uh, lever there to lift it and drop it whereas in the old mower the old um, drum mower I use this rocker switch here uh, and actually I thought when I first got this I thought it actually would be a right pain using that lever because the rocker switch is really easy but I'm not finding it too bad. It's actually all right. It's a little bit more, you've got to use your arm muscles a little bit more. I mean, the rocker switch is a doggle. I'm not gonna press the nag because I've got the it on the back, but you know, to do that, it's very easy. Um, likewise, driving along with a mower on the side, that, that was a bit weird. When I had it in transport mode, it's a bit weird driving along with it up on the side rather than out the back, but again, you kind of get used to it. It's, it's all about uh, just a different thing. I'm certainly mowing way more quicker just because physically it's a wider mower. Look, you can see behind. Oh, it makes a noise. seems quite noisy to me compared with the old mower but I don't know what the noise should be like. I hope this is all alright and there's nothing wrong with it. Right anyway, we're cracking on. Crack. Right well I've, I've done quite a lot. I'm going to give my brother a call in a minute. He's going to come along and have a look. Um, but we're just checking the grass now me and Harry. Look at this. Wow. That's the amount that comes out. It's thicker up this top end isn't it? Much wow. That's what comes out of the back of the mower. It's a hell of a swath, isn't it? Look how long these Look at that. One piece of grass. How long is a piece of grass? How long is a piece of string, Harry? How long is a piece of string? Longer than a piece of grass. Look at That's that. The size of Hang on, stand next to that. 
That piece of grass is nearly the height. That's a mi that's mad. That's Go and stand in there. Right. Go and stand in there. This is like jungle grass. There is some grass over there taller than you. I can see it. Can you see some pieces of grass that are taller than you? Yeah. Look, go to the piece of grass that's taller than you. Wow, this is unbelievable. I haven't had any fur on this, just had farm muck. Harry, that piece of grass is taller than you. How crazy is that? Now, I would have thought that was going to happen when you were about five, but not when you're 11. Nearly 12. This is mad. In a couple of days. A couple of days, you're 12. When's your birthday? June 6th. June the 6th. Harry's birthday, June the 6th. He's going to be 85 years old then. How old are you then, Harry? 12. 12. 12 going on 18. What a lovely age to be at, mate. Enjoy it while you can. Right, let me take a photo of you stood in the grass. Harry, we've got a hell of a crop of grass here. Oh, this phone thing, I can't... Uh, trying to get... I'll phone if you want. Oh, I'd get it. Right, you ready? Harry, look at me. I think for, for added um, authenticity, come and stand here and then we can, I can judge it by better because you'll be still on the edge. I stand here. You're going to flatten it. All right, that's good. I'd say, Harry, we've got a hell of a crop of grass. Are you happy there? Yeah. Right, let's get back. Back to it. Obviously, Harry's observer. Are you TikToking now? Yeah. All right, let's... Uh, I'll give Harry a camera and let's get going. I'll go around a few more times and I'll phone my brother. Are you still playing with your long bits of grass? Yeah, Harry. Look at that, that is amazing. It's chompy stuff though, it's coarse, isn't it? It'd be all right for the dry cows though. Right, Harry, I'm gonna leave you in charge of doing a bit of video of me coming round, all right? Yep. Maybe catch up on the corner and then you can video me lifting and stuff. Yeah. All right? Yeah. I'll, I'll leave you this. Is it brilliant? Look at the size of these swaths. Past my ankle height for just the swath. When it's cut down. Look at that. We're gonna get maybe 40 bales out of here. That would be lovely. Normally we get 30, but then it's only half of the um, height as it is now. So I reckon we'll get 40 maybe. It'll take quite a long time to get it all bailed and wrapped and move all the bales. But we ran out of bales for the pile, so we should now get loads of bales. We've got loads from our field next to the old bale pile because we couldn't fit it in the clamp. But we're also gonna get loads from here. We never put this in the clamp. This is always for round bales. Cause, um, Cause it's like this. You see, it's not really leaving much behind, which is good. It's taking quite a lot off. What is it actually leaving? Okay, it is leaving that much, but we need to make sure there's some left over, otherwise it won't grow back. It's a bit soily here. Bit of soil. But never mind. These swaths are ten times bigger than what they are normally, which is really good. Cause it's a really heavy crop and we'll get loads of bales out of here which means we'll, we'll have loads of feed for the cattle. We've already done quite a lot of swaths already. And it's just coming back around, but you can only just make out the cab. There's a bit of sun in the way. So. There he is. Also a buzzard up there. There he is. 
come back around. Get ready for him to fold it back up. In my opinion, I would rather have one of these mowers rather than a drum mower. I don't know why, I just like it how it folds up on the side rather than sticking out. Right, let's watch him lift it up. Here he comes. person in there. Very happy. He loves his new toy. Well, it's actually not his, but it's a demo toy. There's plenty more to do. We, uh, we've done quite a bit already. I'm going to phone my brother now because I think it's only fair he has a go. Uh, let me just find his number. I mean, the whole thing about running a partnership is your partners together in the business and you want to be able to see you both tried it. So I'm just going to give him a call. He'll probably come over and take over. I'll shut the door a minute there, Harry. Harry's. Oh, it's dodgy getting a signal. Oh, I haven't got his fit. Can't get a signal. Right. Oh. God of Jack, who's gone sell Tom. Because the move up the. So phone signal in my area here is horrific. So what he's going to do is he's going to tell. Um, oh, let's just get this in here. He's going to tell Tom to come along in the Land Rover. So Tom is going to go in the Land Rover. We're going to go in the. Um, sorry, let me mull. Make sure I get this right. Tom's going to come on along in the Land Rover. Have a go on this. I'm going to go back in the Land Rover. So we'll probably go around once more and then um, Tom will be here hopefully to take over. As you know, like I said, Tom doesn't like being on camera so I'm not going to film all that. It's only fair we do things right, isn't it? Right, so we'll have a look at this in a minute. Woo! There we go, my brother's off mowing now. I left him to it. I love a crop of grass, isn't it? Hey, all right. So Tom's mowing on that. A couple of observations. It seems very loud compared with the other mowing we had. I, I again, it's it's all about what you're used to, isn't it? it seems very loud. Uh, the the lever arm definitely. I've got used to that. It's not a problem really. Um, none of it seems a problem actually. It all seems, you know. Hey, what was I expecting? The fear of the unknown is kind of something you don't understand, isn't it? Um, but it seems to, it seems to go well. Size-wise, it's uh, it's about the right size for me. I think I don't want more than two meter. I think I can go two point two. I don't know. Um, so on my mind now is fi fixing that um, speedo. That's a bit of annoyance. Anyway, this has her. He's waiting in the Land Rover. Look, my bodyguard. Oh. Oh. Hazza, you look very comfortable in that seat there. It's almost like you were ready to drive me home. Yeah. What do you think of that mower then? Good. Yeah? Yeah. All good. You tick tocked on that? Yeah. Good oh. Right, we'll get back. There's, we'll just have a look. There's the, the barley is definitely. I'm just going to jump over. Look at Reggie's. If you're watching, Reg, I'm just checking your barley. It's just starting to change the colour. 
It's interesting, isn't it, how things change quickly? Because the other week I looked at this when we were rock picking. Oh, Harry's still in there. And uh, it was really green. And now, can you see, we've just got a, a tinge of sort of yellowy coming on there. It's just starting to ripen, isn't it? The, the corn isn't ripe, but the ends are going ripe. And you, look at it, it's beautiful. I think I really like barley when you look at it, because it's just a lovely, it's a lovely plant. Look at it, that's a hell of a crop of barley, isn't it? Beautiful, it looks so clean. Let me just take a photo, I'm gonna just get a photo, because it's just a, look at a lovely sight of barley. I, I, lo I like the plant. I, li I do like the plant, I just think it's a lovely crop. It might sound a bit weird saying a lovely plant, but I think you can appreciate plants, can you? Well, certainly fields of corn that are grown really well. Right, let's get back over this tree. All right, Haz. Hell of a crop of barley, Harry. Hell of a crop of barley. Anyway, how are the pigs doing? Good. Anything to say about them? Have you decided which is the nicest or the biggest or whatever? No. Do you think Patrick's the boss pig? Some, I thought that Jack said the Patrick was a boss pig. Yeah, he's a bit of a bully. We'll have a quick look at the pigs when we get back, shall we? Mm -hmm. Okay, let's go. Hell of a crop of barley. Right, let's go and have a look at Mr. and Mr. and Mr. Piggy. Mm -hmm. Piggy time! First line is still on the floor. What are you on about? All that. Oh yeah, there is a little bit of fertilizer on the floor. That was Dad's farm management, wasn't it? Wasn't the best, was it? Not very farm management. Farm what? Disaster. Farm disaster. Right, let's see the piggies. Every time I think of them, I think of sausages. I think of sausages. Sausages, sausages. Oh, we got some more pig food now, look. We had a deliver. Oh, they're having a nap. Oh, look at them. Hey. Hello. What are those pigs in a TV program? Was it, um, what is it? What is it, the cartoon? Not, Arden Animations. Sean the Sheep, isn't it? Mm-hmm. And there's two pigs, look. Do you think there's they're three, like... I think there's three pigs in there. Is there? Yeah. Look at them. You've got three. Look at them. Oh, I can smell them. Can you smell them? Mm-hmm. They don't do much, do they? They just sort of sit there, really. They've got them for breakfast. Have, have they got any food left? Yeah. They've eaten yeah. it all. So we give them some more later then, yeah? Yeah. Oh, here they come. That's come on, then. Perfect. Hello. Well, do you know what? Once they get used to us, they'll come out every time we walk in because they'll always think we've got food for them. Mm -hmm. Do you want a game of football? So is that Patrick? Yeah, Patrick is there. Patrick. Hello, Pat. Have a little bit of water. Well and done. Boris with some straw in his face. Boris, look, Boris. Look, dirty old Boris had his pig in head in the trough, Boris. Hello, Boris. You might need to put a bit more water in there. You think that'd be alright? Or are you going to do that later? I'll give him a little bit more in a bit. Hello, Boris. Boris has got a darker blue spot on me. Mm-hmm. Alright. Also, Pat is a bit more... He's a, he's a bit greyer. So there's he's Patrick on the right. He's hairy. I'm right, aren't I? That's Patrick, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, he's hairy. Hello, Pat. Piggy Pat, Piggy Pat, Piggy Pat. And his bacon bum. Bacon bum. That's going to be yummy, yummy. All right, Pat, we're not talking about you, don't worry. Talk about another Pat. Thank Boris, you, Pat. what have you been up today? Have you seen Theresa May lately? He's been sleeping. Both of you are not going to be around for long. They've been sleeping all day, so I don't think they've been... Are you sleeping. tired, Boris? It's a hard day at the trough, isn't it? They are legends, aren't they? Anyway, we'll see you later, Mr Curly. Look at that curly tail, look at that curly tail. Oh, go on. Look at that. Oh, I wonder why their tails are curly. Buddy's no. tail's not curly like that, is it? No, it's straight. Why do pigs have curly tails? So not to confuse mm -hmm. them with dogs. Why do you think that is? Do you think that's what it is? Maybe. Don't confuse pigs. Do you think they, you'd get that confused with a dog? You probably would. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Piggy, piggy, piggy. It's a funny life being a pig, isn't it? They don't actually do much, do you? The same with a dog. Yeah, they are very similar, aren't they? They just sit around, they look for food. <coughs> are you going to give them a bit more food? 
I'll give him maybe. Go five. on, give him a little bit. Look, look, they want some more, don't they? Do you want some more din dins? They're waiting. I reckon they can hear the noise of the bag. Here we go, just mm. chuck it out in there. Here we go. Oh, don't try them. No, oh, look, he's gone down the wrong end, Boris. Oh, is that Patrick? Pat. Which ones do you think is clever, Patrick or Boris? Boris. Well, these Boris is stuck around the back. Oh, there's pig wars. Get out of my way, he says. Yeah. There you go. Quite loud. They are loud eaters. They're more messy than me. Can you hear it? Very loud. They have already had two scoops for breakfast as well. Have they? Yeah, so they're getting an extra three quarters of a scoop. Alright, that's probably enough for them today then. Isn't it? They'll get well, we're going to give them what, two more. What time are you going to feed them this afternoon? Four o'clock? These fish are fed five, twice a day, so four o'clock. Four, four, four or five o'clock. Five o'clock. Yeah, about that. Okay. There. Right. Alright. Alright, guys, we leave you to it. Enjoy your little. Oh, it does smell in here already, isn't it? Yeah. It doesn't take. They muck them out every single day. Yeah, they do actually. The boys are, are doing this. They're doing well. We came well. out this morning at half eight for their breakfast. Yeah. Then we gave them some water. This is the pig poo shovel. Shovel. Don't mix and that up with anything else because it stinks. And what we do is when they're... So we first of all get two scoops of food. Mm -hmm. Whilst they're eating, we muck them out. That's very sensible. So then they're not like in the way. They're distracted, aren't they? Yeah, because then they're having mm. breakfast. And then we get their water, which is in that bucket there. Mm. And then after that, they'll probably just go back to sleep. I think one morning I'll just give you and Jack the camera and you can come out here and film your routine of how you look after them, all right? Mm -hmm. And you pushed up the straw, didn't you? Which is good, because they like that area. They are messy. Mess About uh, earlier, mm. before we came in, they were under the straw. Mm. Yeah, like and they a were net. actually underneath. Yeah, like, they like that. In, a, in a hole. Mm, they like that, don't they? Built a they sort of mess down this end, don't they? Yeah. But honestly, the pig smell is really strong. I, you know, I guess what it is is the cow smell is really strong. But I don't. I'm not. I'm so used to it. I don't notice it. Farmer, then you think cow smells. Yeah, really that's right. Then I go away on holiday and I come back and I realise the farm smells of cow doodah. But I don't notice it when I'm living here. And like, for me walking in here now, the pig smell is really strong. Don't you think? I can't smell that. No, I can't smell that over there. That I came up there. That but I can smell the pig poo. It seems really strong. And if you're a pig farmer, you're probably immune to it. And you go, oh, doesn't smell. Any farmer who's got animals, any any animal farmers, even chicken. I reckon the best poo is probably poo. sheep poo. I don't think that smells that much. That's got its own smell though. Yeah. What do you think an ostrich poo's like? Donkey poo, do you think that smells? Don't know. Llama probably, poo? It's probably like a horse poo. Horse poo. A pig and a Yeah. I think pigs pigs are probably the smelliest. Pigs and, and chickens. Yeah, pigs and chickens. Right, I'm going on out now, Harry. I've got work to do. All right? Yeah. Pigs and chickens. We reckon pigs and chickens are the smelliest. Yeah. Don't we? Uh-huh. And the least then, smelliest? Well, I don't know. I'm going sheep. I've never. I don't think sheep poo smells bad at all. Yeah, because you've never smelled. Poo. Well, I have smelled it. I worked on a place where they had 700 sheep when I was 18. Right, crack on everyone. Pig on, pig on, oink, oink, oink. <laughs>